Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, OpenAI just released image uploading for ChatGPT and it is honestly next level. Today, we're gonna explore some killer use cases like optimizing social media posts or getting step-by-step -step DIY project instructions. All you need is a ChatGPT Plus subscription and you'll find this new icon to upload your images. Now, real quick, even if you are on ChatGPT Plus and you don't see this feature, don't panic, it might be a phased rollout or a regional thing. I found using a US VPN sorted it out for me, so keep that in mind and let's dive right in. Alright, check this out. I'm going to upload a handwritten math assignment into ChatGPT and just ask it to solve this. As you see, I don't provide any context at all because now ChatGPT can analyze the image and get all the context from there. Let's see what we've got. So firstly, ChatGPT identifies that there is a geometry problem to solve. It states what is given and what is needed to be solved. After that, it's not simply giving us the answer, but it's breaking all the steps taken to get the solution. Back in the day, if you were stuck on your math homework, you'd probably go to something like Reddit and ask for help, right? Then you'd wait for a long time for someone to answer and there was no guarantee that the answer was actually correct. Now, watch this. I found a real question somebody asked on Reddit. I'll just copy this image and paste it into ChatGPT and again, it understands that is a math problem which needs to be solved um, it provides a comprehensive solution with all the steps explained, including the rules that have been used to solve it. This is pretty huge. I wonder what that means for the future of education. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I'm really curious to know what you guys think, so share your opinions in the comments below and let's discuss it. Now let's dive into optimizing media assets. Whether it is for a social media post or an ad creative or even the main page of your website, the goal is usually the same, to make it appealing uh, and probably drive conversions. ChatGPT can now analyze how appealing your image is and suggest some optimization tips. I'm going to upload a sample ad creative by Nike into ChatGPT and ask it for some pro tips on how to make it convert better. What ChatGPT does is take a list of the best practices and apply it to a given image. The first thing to do is include a clear call to action button. Then it understands that there is only a product name, so the suggestion is to highlight the benefits too. And we get examples right away like lightweight and durable perfect for training, etc, etc. Now let's tie it all together with captions. I am re-uploading our image into ChatGPT and type, this is a Facebook ad, provide me with a list of top 10 killer captions. And ChatGPT recognized that the brand on the picture is Nike and even a particular model of these shoes, right? Nike Free Metcon 5. And all the suggested captions are tailored to this particular model. This seems to be really useful for your social media, for marketing teams, and the same applies to any website. Just make a screenshot of the main page, which is supposed to convert your leads, drop it into ChatGPT and ask for optimization tips. It's gonna read all the text on the page, analyze how appealing it is, I mean the font, the call to action buttons and so on and then provide a list of the best practices tailored to your website. The next use case was tested by myself personally when I was creating my YouTube thumbnail. ChatGPT can now analyze an image and provide you with very detailed like expert level guidance on how to replicate that design in your preferred software, such as Photoshop. So I'm going to upload a random YouTube thumbnail into ChatGPT and ask for a Photoshop guide to replicate it. ChatGPT provides a step-by-step -step guide to recreate that awesome thumbnail. And it's not only saying what needs to be done, like convert this image to a smart object, but you also get really detailed instructions on how to perform each action. In this case, I have convert this image to a smart object by right-clicking and selecting 
convert to smart object. So the prompt engineering has fundamentally changed. Previously, you could also get similar guidance from ChatGPT, but you had to describe very specifically what you wanted to achieve. So you had to provide a lot of context. Now ChatGPT can analyze the image itself, and there is no need for you to set all that context in your prompt. And that seems to be the next level. Another use case is DIY projects. Let's say you come across a palette table that screams must have. You can upload a picture of it into ChatGPT and ask how to make it. And of course, a detailed step-by-step -step guide appears. It recognizes what exactly you can see in the picture. The table in the image appears to be a DIY palette coffee table with wheels. And then, like a dish recipe, you get all the materials to complete this DIY project and specific instructions on how to do it. And by the way, you can upload an image of any dish and get a recipe. ChatGPT is extremely great with food and recipes, but it doesn't stop there. Imagine getting quick fixes for a broken bicycle, step-by-step -step instructions on how to change a light bulb or repair a bookshelf, the possibilities are pretty endless. You don't really have to search YouTube or Google for tutorials anymore, because now ChatGPT can provide custom tutorials for your specific issue based on the images you upload. Let's talk about something we've all struggled with, and I'm talking about those crazy complicated road signs. I mean, you practically need a degree to understand some of them. Check this out. There is a super confusing parking sign in this image. There is no chance I could ever, ever figure out if I could park here or not. I'm going to upload this picture into ChatGPT and ask a simple question. When can I park here? ChatGPT provides the breakdown of the rules and then answers my question. Considering the restrictions, I can park for one hour between 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. on school days and for one hour between 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. on non-school days. Wow, to me, that is really mind-blowing. And you know, think about travel. Have you ever been abroad and couldn't decipher a sign because it was in a different language, but also different context? I mean, the format of the sign was different to what you are used to in your country. Even if you could translate it with Google Lens, it might not make any sense. But ChatGPT can understand the context and give you a translation that makes sense in that context. For example, here I have a sign in Chinese. I ask what it means and ChatGPT not only provides a translation, but the context. This sign indicates a location where the temperature is monitored to ensure that the vaccines are stored under appropriate cold conditions. This could be a game changer for travel as well. OpenAI claims ChatGPT can understand historic events from images or recognize paintings. So I'm going to start by uploading a photo of a historic event. Uh, and look at that, ChatGPT just gave us the full context the signing of the United States Declaration of Independence, and then it provides a brief summary of that historic event. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Now, let's just Google for a random painting. This one looks good. Just click copy, then click paste right into ChatGPT and ask what is this? ChatGPT obviously identifies the name of the painting as well as the name of the artist. And if I want, I can ask it to tell me more it will educate me about this piece of art. So we've already seen ChatGPT do some pretty smart stuff and another niche is fashion. You can take a picture of your outfit, have it analyzed and then get some feedback on it. Let's search for a random picture of a man's outfit, copy the image, then paste it directly into ChatGPT and ask it to describe the outfit and compose a similar look for me. And I was really surprised how specific it was. A dark green crewneck sweater with a small logo on the chest, possibly from the brand Lacoste. And it is indeed Lacoste logo there, but it is so small, even blurred a little. But ChatGPT understood what it was. Then it provides a detailed suggestion for a similar look, not only describing the items, but also naming particular brands where you can buy those items. And that's incredible. Next time you're shopping online or just, you know, scrolling through Instagram, you can get some on the spot fashion advice for free and available 24 seven. 
All right, we've covered a lot of ground, but what about something like health or fitness? Let's say I am watching a yoga tutorial on YouTube, you know, to do it at home, and it would be great to understand better what I am doing and why. So I can just pause the video, make a screenshot, drop it into ChatGPT and ask to identify this yoga pose and what it does. It tells me the name of the pose, both in English and in Sanskrit. It answers my question about what this particular pose does to my body. Uh, I mean, it engages the muscles in the lower back, shoulders and arms. And it also explains the overall benefits of this particular exercise. Again, this eliminates the need to search for tutorials because you now have them all in ChatGPT. Last but not least, Let's talk about pointers. ChatGPT can also understand pointers on the pictures. You can use coordinate, crop box, arrow, box, circle, or hand drawing. And let's test it out. I have this picture of four different dog breeds and I have circled one of them in red. Now I drop this picture into ChatGPT and ask to identify the highlighted dog breed. And as expected, it definitely can see the pointer and identify the breed. The highlighted dog appears to be a Border Collie. Now, of course, it's not just about identifying dogs. It's about ChatGPT's capability to grasp context within visual frame, okay? Imagine the possibilities. You're looking at a dense data table and want to understand the meaning of a specific column. You can circle it and ChatGPT will understand that. Or perhaps you've got a medical imagery and again, just circle a section in an X-ray or MRI and ask, what does this indicate? So just point and ask. Okay, that wraps it up. ChatGPT's new image feature is really changing how we interact with tech from DIY projects to deciphering art. And there are so many more use cases that I just couldn't cover in one video. If you want to dive a bit deeper, there is a paper published by the team of Microsoft researchers, which contains great use cases. The paper is 166 pages long, so there is a lot to learn. I will attach the link in the description. If this got you excited, don't forget to hit the like button. I haven't been so excited since the first release of ChatGPT. You should definitely try this out yourself and make your life easier with AI. I'll see you soon in the next video.